The North Shore Bus Company operated public buses in Queens, New York City. It was established in 1920 as the successor to the New York and North Shore Traction Company trolley system, and operated until 1947 when it went bankrupt, and its operations were taken over by the New York City Transit Authority. Topic origin, New York and North Shore Traction Company The company was established in 1902 as a trolley company called the Maniola, Roslyn and Port Washington Traction Company, but as it grew into Queens it was renamed in 1907 as the New York and North Shore Traction Company. It had a line from Flushing, Queens to Roslyn in Nassau County named the North Shore Line, as well as another from Flushing to Whitestone 14th Avenue Station on the Whitestone branch of the Long Island Rail Road, better known as the Whitestone Line. Within Nassau County, it had lines from Port Washington to Maniola which was known as the Port Washington Line, and from Maniola to Hicksville, called the Hicksville Line. The trolley cars on this system were considered to be the largest and most powerful on Long Island and in Queens. As powerful as they were however, they still had difficulty climbing the hills of such areas as Douglaston and Manhasset. Topic transition to buses By the late 1910s many trolley systems began to decline, but rather than collapse or sell themselves to other companies, the NY and NST replaced their trolley cars with buses, the majority of which operated in Queens. The economic impact of the Great Depression forced them to sell off many of their routes to other companies during the 1930s, most notably to the Tribra Coach Corporation, one of the last surviving private bus lines in New York City. In spite of this, the company was still occasionally able to purchase routes from B-Line, incorporated in Nassau County. North Shore acquired the Flushing Heights Bus Corporation and its Q17 and Q25 routes on September 22, 1935, although that company was never merged into NSB. On June 25, 1939, North Shore acquired the remaining B-Line routes and B-Line's 165th Street Bus Terminal in Jamaica, as part of the company's takeover of nearly all routes in Zone D Jamaica and Southeast Queens. By the 1940s, North Shore operated nearly all the bus routes in Zone B Flushing and Northern Queens and Zone D. On March 30, 1947 the company went bankrupt after its drivers and other employees went on strike. Its operations were taken over by the New York City Board of Transportation, which was superseded by the New York City Transit Authority in 1953. <laughs> Depots. Prior to takeover by the city in 1947, the company based its operations out of two depots. Topic: <inaudible> Flushing Depot. The Flushing Depot of the company was located on the south side of Roosevelt Avenue in Flushing Meadows Corona Park in Queens, west of 126th Street and east of the New York City Subway's Corona Yard. This depot opened sometime in the 1900s, and housed buses serving northern Queens. It is now the Casey Stengel Depot under the MTA. <laughs> Jamaica Depot The company's Jamaica Depot was located on the west side of Merrick Boulevard just south of Liberty Avenue in Jamaica, Queens. The depot lies between Merrick Boulevard to the east and 165th Street to the west, and spans about three blocks north to south between South Road and 107th Avenue, located across the campus of York College. This depot, which housed buses serving the Jamaica and southeastern Queens area, opened in 1939, and expanded in subsequent years following takeover, adding bus storage areas and a washing area. It is now the Jamaica Depot under the MTA. For many years after the takeover, both of the depots were overcrowded with buses due to lack of storage space. In 1968, the MTA, which now ran the NYCTA, acquired land to build another depot, the Queens Village Depot, to relieve crowding at the other two depots. This depot, located at 97-11-222nd, street between 97th and 99th Avenues in Queens Village, Queens, west of Belmont Park, opened in 1974, which took a number of routes from the depots, mainly those serving the Queens Village and adjacent areas. However, despite this move, the Jamaica depot was still overcrowded, since the capacity for that depot is 150 buses and is assigned 200 buses. As a result, the 50 additional buses at that depot park on surrounding streets. A project to rebuild the depot would begin in 2018, with all of its routes and buses temporarily sent to other depots. 
Topic North Shore bus routes Q1, Jamaica, Hillside Avenue, Short Lines acquired from B-Line Q2, Jamaica, Hollis Avenue, Hempstead Avenue to Belmont Park from B-Line Q3, Jamaica, Hollis, JFK Airport via Farmers Boulevard from B-Line Q3A, Jamaica, Parsons Boulevard and Hillside AV St. Albans, Cambria Heights via Murdoch and 113 AV renumbered 1988 to Q83 by NYCTA, from B-Line Q4, Jamaica, Cambria Heights via American Linden BLVDs, from B-Line Q4A, Jamaica, Laurelton via Merrick Boulevard and 120 Avenue renumbered 1988 to Q84 by NYCTA from B-Line Q5, Jamaica, Rosedale and Green Acres Shopping Mall via Merrick Boulevard from B-Line Q5A, Jamaica, Rosedale via Rochdale Village and Beetle Street, renumbered 1988 to Q85 by NYCTA, from Schenck Transportation Q5AB, Jamaica, Locust Manor LIRR, Springfield Gardens combined with Q5A into Q85 in 1988 by NYCTA from Schenck Transportation Q5AS, Laurelton, Rosedale Shuttle renumbered 1988 to Q86 by NYCTA, then eliminated in 1995 due to low ridership, from B-Line Q12, Flushing, Little Neck via Sanford AV and Northern Boulevard. Q12A, Little Neck LIRR Station, Floral Park via Little Neck Parkway renumbered to Q79 by NYCTA, then eliminated due to low ridership and reinstated via compromise as part of the extended Q36 in 2013 Q13, Flushing, Bayside, Fort Totten via Northern and Bell BLVDs, 1933 Q14, Flushing, Whitestone 1933 eliminated in 2010 due to budget cuts, subsequently replaced with the Q15A route Q15, Flushing, Whitestone Stone, Beechhurst 1933 Q16, Flushing, Clearview, Fort Totten via Bayside Avenue, Francis Lewis and Willits Point BLVDs, or Utopia Parkway 1933 Q17, Flushing 188th Street and Jamaica Q17A, Jamaica, Little Neck via Utopia Parkway and Horace Harding Boulevard renumbered 1988 to Q30 by NYCTA Q1720, combination of Q17 and Q20 routes which operated in the 1940s and 1950s. Q20, Flushing, College Point Shuttle renumbered to Q44FS, then to Q20 in 1990, then to Q20A and Q20B in 1999 by NYCTA, and extended to Jamaica Q23, 108th Street, Corona Ditmers Avenue before 1933, originally North Shore, transferred first to King's Coach Company 1931, then to Tribra Coach Corporation in 1936, then to MTA Bus Company in 2005 Q26, Flushing, Auburndale via Hollis Court Boulevard. Q27, Flushing, Rosewood, Queens Village and Cambria Heights via Springfield Boulevard. Q28, Flushing, Bayside West before 1933 Q31, Jamaica, Bayside West Q35, Flushing, College Point, Whitestone, substitute for LIRR Whitestone Branch, replaced by Q20 in 1937. Q32, Queens Village LIRR Creedmoor Shuttle. Q36, Jamaica, Floral Park via Hillside and Jamaica Avenues. Q42, Jamaica, Addisley Park via Sayers AV. Q43, Jamaica LIRR Station, Hillside AV to City Line. Q44, Jamaica, Flushing, Bronx. Q44A, Union Turnpike, Q Gardens, Lake Success and Glen Oaks renumbered 1990 to Q46 by NYCTA Q44B, Malba Shuttle eliminated 1990 due to low ridership Q44VP, Union Turnpike, Q Gardens and V. Lee Place Shuttle renumbered 1990 to Q74 by NYCTA, then eliminated in 2010 due to budget cuts Q48, Flushing, LaGuardia Airport began operating April 5, 1940. 